Anyone else like towel pillows? I love towel pillows. Towel pillows? Towel animals. <laughs> Welcome to the Bahamas. I am bringing you live from my room right now. And I wanna share with you in today's video, both what this experience has been like and what it's like on this cruise right now, because it's actually really interesting. So right now I'm at port, I'm at Freeport, and I am on a Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. And I'm on the Grand Classica Cruise and we are in our Ocean View stateroom right now. A little bit of relaxing going on. And what's interesting about this cruise is that it fits 1,680 passengers as guests, not crew and guests, just guests, 1,680. But right now there are only 117 people aboard this cruise line right now, which is very, very interesting in terms of an experience because there's quiet, peaceful, there's quiet, creepy and eerie, and there's quiet ghost town. And this definitely feels like the latter, Although to be honest, it has felt peaceful at times as well, but it's gonna be interesting when I take you out on a live tour walking around the boat after I share some interesting fun facts with you. So aside from it being very, very empty, today we are at port in Freeport and I was fascinated by what is there to do at this port? Because the boat itself only offers half a dozen excursions it's basically swimming with dolphins, swimming with the pigs, or going to one of the other hotel properties to go to their pool, beach club, etc. And those are really just the only options. And so that was really interesting to find. And so we didn't really want to opt in for any of those. And so we just went to go venture out. And what was interesting is the port area, like the village, completely empty unless there's a larger boat like a Royal Caribbean or a Carnival Cruise or something like that at port all those shops all of those restaurants Senor Frogs all of the stores they do not open I was talking to the guard that was there and she's like oh yeah you're welcome to walk around but everything is closed and so it was really interesting to go for a long walk over there and see what that was like check out my other video for that and so I was also wondering, well, what if we just get driven around the island because there are taxi drivers outside? And I was talking with one of the taxi drivers. And if you look at information online, generally it's $5 to get from the port to downtown, which is about a 15 minute ride. But I just asked, I, well, I separately asked, hey, how much would it cost if you just drove us around for like an hour? Because I don't really know what there is in Freeport. I did all of my research on TripAdvisor. I looked on Google Satellite. I went to see what was around. It didn't really seem there's a whole lot aside from just strolling around the downtown, a couple of excursions, and then also um, some of the beaches, which today is not the nicest day. And so I was like, ah, oh, maybe we'll skip the beaches. But the taxi driver quoted us at $80 for one hour to take us around. And that is really expensive. And and he said, well, to be honest, you will likely be the only business that I have today and I'll take you around for 60. But he was also very honest in saying that things will likely all be closed downtown. In other words, it's pretty quiet around here. And so we just opted to walk around the quiet village and then we came back on the boat and we've been hanging out. And after we take you on this tour, we are going to get in the jacuzzi. So that's my afternoon probably with a whole lot of drinks. I would say a couple other interesting things to know. This boat, um, this boat is something that we got as a Black Friday deal. We got a steal. And guess in the comments below what you think we paid for a two night, three day, two night cruise. We left out of the port of Palm Beach and it took us over to Freeport. And we're here for one day before we go back tomorrow. And so this cruise has been such a steal in terms of price, which is why I really came with no expectations. We're having a fantastic time. But I will say what's interesting is that the people we've been talking to and the people we've been meeting on this cruise, they are people who have flown in from far and wide. Uh, New Jersey, 
Texas, Texas and Minnesota were some of the people that we were talking to on the boat. And uh, for us, it wasn't, it was a 45 minute drive to get here. So it was really, really easy. But a lot of people are coming in from far and what far and wide to get on this cruise. Um, and a lot of them are really disappointed by how quiet it really is. We enjoy the quiet. So ready for the tour? Let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. First, let's look at the room because the room is the room's actually all right. We have an ocean view room and we have our little refrigerator. Oh, it's messy right now. You're getting a little warning about that. And we got our closet space. We got our super tiny, tiny, I mean, a cruise bathroom is ever, ever large, right? But we have our little bathroom over here. And then we have our towel friends. And we got, <laughs> we got Lou just laying on the bed. We have the view that you already saw out there in Freeport. All right, let's do it. Oh, you know what? We got to put our masks on and then we got to go out. What's interesting also is that their high season is February to September. So we're actually here during low season. I thought it would be busy right now. Um, but with the pandemic, they require masks indoors. And then the other thing about it is they allow 50% capacity. So 50% capacity on the boat. Got all your stuff. We're gonna go walk you around the boat so you can see everything. And then we're gonna end at the jacuzzi because why not? All right, let's do it. You know, we should go to the lobby actually. So we, there are 11, 11 stories, floors on this boat. We're staying on the fifth floor, which is also the floor where the lobby's at. Oh, let's talk about the activities. Still a decent number of activities. Uh, we did the merengue yesterday and they had a couple game shows and stuff. There was actually a decent, um, there karaoke going on last night and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take you upstairs. So one thing about cruises, what do we do every time we cruise? We take the stairs. We take the stairs. <laughs> so we only take the stairs. So you can eat. <laughs> so <laughs> Headed to the Encore Lounge, which is where all of the activities happen at. They have one of the biggest bars there and then all of the entertainment always happens here. There he is. <laughs> so I was surprised because they do have specialty restaurants on this boat. I did zero research before coming here and I didn't know what to expect. So we did not do a specialty restaurant last night, but the main dining room was super nice. But this is one of the main, this is one of the main uh, specialty restaurants. See the menu, I want to see the menu. So this menu for appetizers, salad, you get a salad entree and then um, a dessert and it's $49 per person. And then they have like various add-ons. But it's actually pretty good value. But I was surprised because the regular dining room's actually really good. Uh, we, we had a great dinner last night. What did you eat? Yeah, it was really good. Oh, we both had the prime rib. Prime rib. Yeah. And you had the chicken marsala. Chicken marsala. Oh, I thought it was totally, it was delicious. I really enjoyed it. Um, but there's eight restaurants on this boat, which is like seven more than I anticipated there being. <laughs> so here's the entrance. You have a casino back here and then the nightclub on the other side. But on this side, there is um, shopping on the boat. Interesting is usually buying alcohol on these types of boats really cost effective, but not on this boat. I was surprised by that. This is one of the other specialty restaurants. But even when you order a la carte, it's very, very inexpensive. Like dishes are $12, for example, for some of the pizzas, for example. This is where Lou got me coffee this morning. Oh yeah, an ice cream. It's interesting, a lot of things you buy are a la carte. Here's the alcohol store at 3 p.m. When this opens later, 30% off all alcohol. And then they have all the photos and stuff. Let's go upstairs. And then there's another theater on this side, which I don't think they're even gonna open that the time that we're here. But I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, 
How many people we're running into while we're out here? How many people have we run into? Uh, just staff. So far, staff. Just staff. Which, by the way, the staff are awesome. They're really, really awesome. They have really good service on this boat. Really good service. So we're coming up to the deck that has the pools. A lot of people. Oh, yeah, it's probably gonna rain soon. Jeez. Oh, yeah. They have salon and spa. Actually, the gym is really nice, too. Towels for the jacuzzi. So one thing that's interesting is uh, I'm gonna show you the, the port and you're gonna see how empty it is. But this is where we were walking around earlier today. So from this boat, we disembarked and then we walked um, around this area and then through and over into here. And I'll flip the camera so you can see it, but you, you'll be able to see how it's completely closed. Um, but another thing is, uh, in terms of mandates right now, when you're on the cruises, so when you get on, they require um, showing your vaccine card and then your 48-hour PCR or antigen test. This cruise actually allows people to get off and stay on the Bahamas and then come back on a later date on this cruise to get back. We are one of the few who are just doing the cruise for two nights and then coming back. Um, but if you stay on, that means you have to get um, a test to be able to get back on. But for us, since we only spent a day here, we are not required to test again to be able to get back. But in case rules change, because traveling is so complicated right now, I packed a test that I can do over Wi-Fi with a nurse. And so that was how I, just in case, was covering my butt in case things changed while we were away. It was so easy to social distance because and you can see how many people are hanging out at the pool behind us. Actually, even for activities like last night, they had bingo and they ended up canceling it because I think only two people signed up, but they just don't have enough people. Even at the merengue oh class God. we did, I think we we're the only ones dancing. <laughs> See, there's one other cruise ship out there, but I don't know what that means. He kicked my butt yesterday. I, I lost. I, oh, he like he's happy about that. <laughs> I totally lost. I get you tonight. It was only because I was drinking. Which, by the way, figuring out their whole drink package on this ship has had... I have been scratching my head about this so hard that I've lost all the hair on this side of my head. It's very, very confusing. Here's a, here's a preview of that. They do drink coupons, which is weird. So you have to hold all these coupons um, and the coupons will generally cost you $9 per coupon, but drinks are often $9. It's confusing. <laughs> you may as well just buy them one off each time. So where we're at now is the adults pool and we're making our way to the back of the ship where the jacuzzi is at, we're about to go. But let me give you a, oh, actually I like this part of the ship. Top. This up here is the jogging track. Ooh, let's do one more view without the window. Over here. We got the jam-packed pool. There's nowhere to sit. Nowhere to sit. <laughs> I do think this setup is very strange. Where it's like so many chairs everywhere, so little pool back of the boat and this is the other specialty restaurant right here that is where their burger place is at all right team there's your behind the scenes live stream fully edited video coming next week we are getting in the jacuzzi thanks for joining me for this one and i will see y'all in the next adventure ciao